Uh, welcome back. Later this week, musicians will showcase everything from hip hop to rock and punk to funk, all performed though in Welsh. This is for Deeth Music Cymru, or Welsh Language Music Day. Thanks for giving me that one, you cheeky so and so. <laughs> BBC Radio One DJ Hugh Stevens. Hugh Stevens is an ambassador for the event and joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Expertly pronounced. Thank you. Did you see what he did there? Gave it to you. He gave it to me. Just <laughs> no, palm, I, I'll, just I'm, I'm happy to give it a try. So it's Deeth Music Cymru. Easy, isn't it? Is it? Is that okay? You say it. Deeth Music Cymru, spot on. And the point of this is that it's a celebration of the language, but through music. Is that the idea? That's right, yeah. It's been going for three years. We have a rich Welsh language music scene for the last 50 years now. So we're celebrating the past. We're looking at the current scene as well. There's loads of really exciting things happening across all genres, from folk and classical, singing in Welsh, to obviously rock and Indian electronic music as well. So there's a lot of great music being sung in Welsh in Wales. Why haven't I heard any? Well, I don't know. I mean, some people will never hear a Welsh language song in, in their lifetime. And that's absolutely fine, of course. I suppose I'm asking, where should I, where should I be, you know, what should I be listening to? Where should I be going? And don't say Wales, you know, <laughs> to, to hear this. Well, it is easier in Wales, of course. We have, uh, you know, two Welsh language radio stations and there's a lot of gigs happening, of course, all the time. But um, there's a lot of music playlists online. And the point of this day is to, is to celebrate and highlight the Welsh language music scene. So if you are interested, it's a way of, of getting into to it in the future. Name some people that um, are, are championing the Welsh music scene that you know you would say all right okay if you're completely new to it yeah. top three so to speak to introduce you to a, a whole variety. Well I mean you've got so many to choose from you could listen to the Super Furry Animals album Mung which got to number 11 in the charts about 20 years ago now. It was I didn't realise they were Welsh. I like the Super Fairy. Yeah, it? great band. There they are. Um, and there's a lot of gigs happening. I mean, legends like Mike Stevens and Heather Jones have made some great records over the years. Gwen is an artist who released an entirely Welsh language album a couple of years ago, which got really well received uh, uh, across the world. Her new album is in Cornish. She grew up in Cardiff speaking Welsh and Cornish. Um, so there's a lot of music to discover. Um, and the point of the day tomorrow is there's gigs happening across Wales, there's a boombox travelling around Welsh schools as well. So it's a, a day to celebrate the, the, the past, but also the present and the future as well, hopefully. The, the, the Welsh language itself, I mean, it's, it's very, it's kind of, when you hear it spoken uh, properly, it's very kind of lyrical, isn't it? It has, it has a lot to it. Is it naturally... Is it a naturally good fit for music? I might, that might sound a slightly silly question, but there are some languages that are less so, aren't yeah. they, than others? I think fair? so. I think so. I mean, obviously, it's the most beautiful language in the world, without a shadow of a doubt, you know, no question. Um, but I think it does suit a lot of different kinds of music. There's a lot of, obviously, great poetry in the Welsh language um, uh, over the years. And there's a lot of young artists who are putting their own spin on the Welsh language as well, and kind of using their own language and kind of creating their own sounds as well. So there's a lot of kind of really interesting music being made and a lot of um, instrumental music being made in Wales as well. So it's, it's a really exciting scene at the moment. We're going through a bit of a golden period with great labels and great people coming together to, to promote the Welsh language music scene. Well, there's an aspiration, isn't there, a long-term vision to see one million people speaking and using the Welsh language by 2050. I just kind of wonder what's happening in schools at the moment in terms of music lessons. Because oh, remember me. when I was being taught music, obviously I was, in, well, I, I grew up in England, so I was being taught to compose, sing in English. Yeah. Um, in Wales, is it? I mean, there's obviously a slant to that, but is, what about anywhere else in the UK? Oh, well, I think, um, I mean, I'm not an education expert, but there's a lot of great Welsh music being taught in schools, and there's a lot of um, uh, acts being sent out to schools mm. across Deeth Music Cymru, across the Welsh Language Music Day, to let young people know that there is a really thriving music scene happening in, in Wales. But, I mean, when I was in school, yeah, obviously, all the music lessons were taught in Welsh. Um, I went to a Welsh language uh, school, you know, lower and, and higher. Um, so there's a lot of great composers as well who have the Welsh language um, in their repertoire. There's What's also that? a snail on someone's face. Oh, that's Cassie, who um, it sings in both Welsh and English. Yeah, that's not nice, is it, that What's snail? What's Welsh for snail? <laughs> Malwarden. 
Is it really? And now you know. <laughs> Mel Warden. <laughs> Mel Warden, yeah. Did you, you say everything snail. with a Welsh accent as well? Mel Warden. Very good, yeah, Mel Warden. But Cassie is a great example of somebody who uses both languages. You know, she tours the world, she releases great records. And a lot of bands use both languages, but a lot of artists are really proud of, of, of their language as well. Want to keep it thriving. Well, Deeth Music Cymru is what we're talking about. Welsh Language Music Day is on Friday. Hugh, thank you very much for coming in. Yeah. Uh, that's all from us this morning. Back, of course, tomorrow from 6. It is time for Countryfile Winter Diaries. Today the team meets some extraordinary dog detectives helping